Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew and Price here, also known as Altered's Ego. And I'm chilling here in my town, chilling with my uh, peeps who are warping through the buildings, it looks like, but that's normal. And we can off in the distance see my castle, and that's where we're headed today, because I've got another update on my pre-sorting system. Uh, I've actually got it pretty much up and operational, uh, so we're going to take a look at that show you some of the changes I made and going to uh, just go through kind of how the system works. I've only got one area set up right now but that's okay as you see that we've made a lot of changes took away the walkway because it was bugging me and oh look we have a couple of zombies our first customers of the day. As you can see the uh, villagers are positioned to the right and the left we have two shoots and uh, you can see the pistons right there and what's uh, cool about those is uh, when the, the villager well did my villager warp? I'm guessing he did okay well you can see down here we've got one zombie in the place and we've got this pistons right here so it'll block off the uh, area when the uh, villager or when the side is full and uh, we only have one chute on either side, and it uh, the water down here is going to push the zombie over to the next side if another one heads over there. So uh, we are going to continue to wait for more zombies to show up. It does take about uh, between one and five minutes to fill it up, depending on how many zombies show up. Uh, all the mobs do end up down here where they're patiently waiting uh, to be sorted. So that works out nicely. Another change I made is right now uh, to avoid the uh, villagers from uh, uh, grabbing aggro from the zombies when they fall through the chute. Uh, when the uh, when the one side fills up, it will automatically uh, redirect the water and push the uh, the villager back here. That also means we don't end up having zombies going to the wrong side uh, when like one side is filled up. So that's kind of a nice addition. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the system. There are still some glitches to be worked out, uh, but it does seem to work pretty well right now. Uh, the biggest thing uh, that I'm having to worry about at this moment is uh, I did have this set up uh, ready to build the next section once I got this one done, and uh, the villager here seemed to attract aggro because it was uh, even when these were moved away. And uh, so I'm going to have to figure out something about that. Um, obviously the styling of this is not finished. So that will be uh, something to uh, to work on as well. But for right now I just wanted to get it done and kind of get it functional. And then I'll worry about the aesthetics and uh, how it looks. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, as you can see here we've got the these... Uh, Hatch doors, uh, those are the the uh, mob see them as full blocks, so they won't resist so much falling off the edge. I had them here as well, but I took them out simply because they were uh, getting stuck on them. Because sometimes they can just uh, sit on that lip, and it causes a uh, a backup in the system. So uh, removing them seems to help a good bit. Um, also, I've had some issues putting glass here. Uh, which is something I tend to want to do, but uh, it seems to cause issues with uh, the zombies being able to see the villagers. Uh, it's quirky how that works that way. So uh, had to remove the glass and all of that. Um, also having to keep expecting a zombie to fall through just like that. All right, he should go to the left, I think. One thing that's kind of been interesting, uh, the zombies on the right don't need any assistance. The ones on the left seem to have a harder time uh, getting to their targets. Uh, I changed some things, so I'm wondering if that'll have helped, but they're, the sides are pretty much identical. It just seems a weird quirk in the game. Um, on the right, they can just jump out quite easily. On the left, they get stuck right on that lip sometimes. 
and they just can't quite make it without another zombie coming by or another mob and pushing them. I have seen skeletons get pushed, by the way, over towards that corner, and uh, even though they don't head there naturally, even when they get pushed, they don't seem to want to fall down, so that's good. I actually haven't had a, a, a skeleton get uh, knocked into the container as of yet, which is a uh, very nice thing. Uh, you do see that the uh, mobs come in waves, because you'll get like three or four zombies at once a lot of times. Um, that's kind of problematic because they end up bumping into each other, so it makes it so that only one or two get into the system. Uh, but, you know, these are things that can be uh, worked on, and we can see if we can uh, find a good fix for this. Good, we have another zombie coming through. They also do bump, uh, the warping mods do cause an issue with the uh, system as well. This one should bump the first one, and he'll knock him into place, hopefully. Come on. As you can tell, I've done this a lot just sitting here and watching the mobs as they try to get into this thing. There we go. It just takes a push. I don't understand why that is the case on the left, but on the right they don't have that issue. So I guess it's something to do with their movement or the AI. But for some reason they have a harder time going to the north than they do to the south. Um... I'm not sure if it's a directional thing, like as far as cardinal directions, or if it's uh, something weird where they won't, um, where they have issues for some reason going left. Don't know. I know they used to, uh, on Ethos' old mob sort of system, uh, skeletons would float to the left, I think, when they're firing. Uh, so I don't know if it's a remnant of that. But we can, real, while we're waiting, we can real quickly go and check out the uh, mob sorter down here you can see we've got uh, one zombie in this chamber and one zombie over here in this one uh, they do close off automatically which is very nice and we can see the uh, <laughs> the snow golems firing their uh, snowballs at the uh, those zombies as they are supposed to which means that zombie is going to have a very long and irritating day. So let's see. Do we, oh no, that's the same zombie I do believe. Uh, one other thing with this, I should mention, uh, because huh? Did we get zombies into the system? I think. Yeah, it looks like we did while uh, I was away. They uh, they loaded up, and you can see the uh, that now that they're in their proper place. Ah, darn it! That uh, skeleton knocked that creeper into the wrong vat. Oh well, but yeah, uh, you can see now it's working fine. It just took a few minutes for it to load up, and then once that happens, everything is all nice and ready to go and sorting properly. Uh, so yeah, that's it functioning. Um, well, I need to destroy this thing. Uh, this was something I built for a friend of mine that is just, uh, isn't supposed to be there. But anyways, uh, this one here is probably going to be stuck here forever because he's not going to, uh, even though the villagers moved, like, if I can move them around... That would be nice, but it's more than seven blocks, and I just don't know about dealing with the uh, that particular issue. Um, I'm not really all that concerned about a single zombie getting stuck in the system. So, But yeah, you can see there, everything works properly. Uh, the system loads up, gets the zombies in place, and then starts its normal sorting routine, which uh, makes me very happy. I am curious about this uh, zombie here because oh no he did a he did aggro onto these so that that's good okay cool 
I've been kind of tweaking the system trying when I find little bugs like that because used to they were still aggroing onto the uh, the zombie over there, but I think I've moved them enough where that's not the case anymore. So anyways, this is Andrew and Price, also known as Altered's Ego, once again showing you uh, my pre-sorting system. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you found it interesting, entertaining, something along those lines. And uh, hey, if you have any questions or if you're working on something like this for yourself, you know, feel free to shoot me a uh, message or a comment on YouTube and I will be happy to uh, respond to you as I get the time. So have a good day and I will catch you guys later. Bye.